Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another video on a what if scenario. So yeah, last episode we did um, what if Ganymede orbited Earth and you guys seem to really enjoy that video. So yeah, today we're doing another episode to do with planets and moons. But this time we're going to be heading to Mars and we're going to be seeing if Mars can support larger moons. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding both of Mars' moons in and we're going to make them a larger size and see if Mars can actually handle it. So obviously Mars has a lot less mass than Earth. And the Earth had a bit of problems with Ganymede, but we're going to see if Mars can support two moons of a larger size. So without further ado, we'll get into this. But before we start, guys, I just want to say a quick thanks, as always, because we hit 4,600 subscribers yesterday, and we're already at 4,623. So, yeah, it's climbing really quick. So, yeah, a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently, everyone who continues to watch the videos every day. Just a massive thanks to you guys. And if you want to keep up to date with videos and news and stuff like that about the channel, then join my Discord server. There'll be a link below in the description but yeah um we will get into this now so mars hello there so yeah mars only has eight moon or eight moons of mass so yeah we're going to start by adding mars's moons and this will slow this down add moons to planet so there we go we've got phobos and then we got demos over here i never say that one right but we've got phobos and then we got this one so what we're doing with these guys is we're going to make them bigger because right now look, their mass is just tiny 0. 0.0000 like loads and loads of small little numbers in mass like these things are tiny but we're going to be making these larger because then if these guys are quite close to mars like that is if we just look at the orbit there that's quite close to mars like, as you can see there what's this hippo object can you see that what's what's this here this hippo let's get rid of that and these guys as well i don't know they were kind of weird oh well anyways let's continue so yeah phobos and demos what we're going to do to start this off is, right now, obviously, it works the way it is. With their current mass and size, it works fine. But what if we make them um, slightly less? So what if we remove, or what if we go 0 0.1 moons on each of them? So what if we try this? So do that. So it's going to make the moon bigger as well. Like you can see, there's 0 0.1 mass of moon. But it's all about the mass, not really the radius. So 0 0.1, and then we're going to do this guy at 0 0.1 as well. Now we're going to see, can Mars actually support these? Or is all chaos going to unfold? Yeah, so they're all blacked out right now. There's not really much we can do. Because like when objects are really small like these guys, they just mess up. Yeah, we can't really... I guess we can make them like this just so we can see them easier. But yeah, when you make those tiny little objects... um bigger they black out which is really weird because their their special texture can't load into a larger sphere object it's kind of weird but yeah anyway so yeah photos and names we can see them pretty easy now now can mars handle these let's actually get a look from mars's surface let's go land here so how large are these guys now let me just look at oh my god they are big so we've got one there and then the second one is not visible right now but damn that's pretty big so if we click play okay so it's setting okay so can these orbit Mars, or are their orbits going to get messed up? So let's see. 0 0.1 moons of mass. Can Mars support it? And it looks like it's actually shredding some of Phobos's material. Like you can see, I just saw a fragment come out of Phobos there. So, yeah, it's too close. As Phobos gets bigger, it's going to start having its mass destroyed by Mars's Roosh limit. I think Deimos is fine, but Phobos is very close to Mars. So that could cause some problems. But anyways... Mars looks like it can support these two moons at 0 0.1 moon masses, so not bad. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll wish it up to 0 0.2. See, look, it lost a bit of mass, 0 0.09. So we're going to put them at 0 0.2 now. But Mars is probably going to shred it a bit more, but there's not obviously much we can do about that. So we're going to put both up to 0 0.2, and now we're going to see, can Mars support 0 0.2 moons of mass? Let's see here. Oh, and there you go. So Mars is roosh limit. Since they've got more mass now... They are being slowly torn up by Mars's Roosh limit. So Mars is actually gaining mass on these guys. More, It's stealing the material from the two moons. But I know they're still orbiting Mars fine, which is what we're testing. They're still... See, look, the Deimos's orbit is a slightly wobbly, as we can see. Phobos is pretty much fine. But yeah, it's slightly wobbly, but that looks stable. That That's still working fine. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So, at 0 0.2 masses, it does work as well. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so let's delete all of the fragments. And now let's try 0 0.5. So let's really ramp it up. So 0 0.5. Well, that almost lost the whole 0.1% of the moon there. 
So, yeah, it lost quite a lot of percentage there. So 0 0.5, then 0 0.5. I, I don't think this is going to work. Because going up from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 did cause a lot of trouble. So about 0 0.2. So we're pretty much doubling it here. Plus a little extra. So play. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, look, you can see Mars is just shredding it straight away. And then Demos. Demos isn't isn't getting shredded as bad. But poor old Phobos here. It just, it's too, it can't, it's just too close to Mars. Mars is just shredding it there. Oh my god, they are so close. Look at that though. It's just, Mars has completely shredded it. So, oh dear, look, it's been completely wiped into nothing. Look, it's tiny now. And Demos is fine though. Damn, so that's just shredded it. Wow. Okay, so 0 0.5. But either way, Demos is still orbiting Mars. It's not, like, it's not broken away. It hasn't messed up Mars' orbit, it doesn't look like. Yeah, Mars' orbit still looks fine. So, maybe it can't handle Phobos, but it can definitely handle one moon at 0 0.5 masses of moon. So, not bad. Okay. Anyways, let's um, continue. So, we're going to delete these and refresh them all. So, get rid of all the fragments. And we'll add two fresh new moons in. So, add moons. Now, we're going to try one mass of moon. Now, I this is going to this is going to cause some problems because Mars only has nine. Oh, no, no. That's not right. Let's actually just load a whole new simulation up because it'll be a little unrealistic since Mars... Mars doesn't have that mass. It's because it stole some of the mass on the other ones. Yeah, Mars has 8.73. So if we add the moons back now. So there we go. Okay. So, yeah, here we go. So play. Oh, God. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Yeah, you got to, you got to click play um, at a slow. Because if time's traveling too fast, the moons don't even orbit it. It's really weird. So let's pause. Slow down the time to a few hours. There we go. Right now, add them again. So, there we go. Add moons. Okay, so we've got Phobos and Deimos. So there we go. So, they're orbiting Mars. Perfect. Right. So, yeah. One moon mass. This I, this isn't going to work. This is this is going to cause a collision. I think Phobos is going to collide with Deimos here. Because I think they're, they're, it's also making the moons larger in size. They are going to collide. There is no way they're not. Surely. Okay, so let's quickly change their mode so we can see. Is this, yeah, that. An elevation of this one will go on surface features. Okay. So, we'll slow this down a lot, because we know this stuff is definitely going to happen this time. So, play. Phobos is broken away from Mars. Look, you can see. It's actually orbiting the sun right now. So, will it escape, or will Mars pull it back? Look how close they are. They're, that's crazy. So, is it going to escape Mars? Are they going to collide? Ooh, they're getting close, so look at that. Phobos is an unstable orbit with Mars. It's getting shredded apart, though, as well, as we can see. Like, it's just losing mass. Look at this. Moon... That mass is just getting shredded. It's been torn apart. And the Demos is still fine, though. Look at that. I'm surprised they didn't collide. I really thought they would. But yeah, so Phobos just keeps getting shredded up every time. So we can't really get accurate results with that. But with Demos here, we can actually get some pretty accurate results. Like, one moon... It's actually gaining mass as well. But one moon of mass can actually orbit Mars without any problems, it seems. So not bad. Pretty good. So if we keep speeding up here, Phobos is just going to get reduced to nothing. And yeah, it's just been shredded apart. You can see all of these fragments there. So that's the end of Phobos. So let's open up a new simulation again. Since Mars would have gained mass from that as well. So there we go. Okay, so let's head back to Mars. Perfect. Okay, now let's try two masses of moon. This is just crazy now. But yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep going until we get um, some collision. So, okay, there we go. So slow down time. Yep. So there we go. Play. Okay, perfect. Then Phobos hit. Oh, God, this is going to be crazy. So, moon. Two moons. Look how large it is compared to Mars. Like, they're almost the same. 2,600. This is 3,300. They are very close. And then uh, this guy, two moons. Done. Surely they're going to collide. There's no way. They must collide this time around. Surely. All right. So, elevation. Okay, there we go. Right. Play. They're gonna collide. There's no surely. Oh my god. No? Well, it's made a ring. It's just it's just, it gets torn up too quickly to actually collide with Mars because it just gets too small. Oh Demos though. That orbit is not that's not stable. That is not stable. Oh why? So looks like one moon is pretty much the limit there. Oh my god. Demos, I think you're gonna get tossed out. Yeah, look, it's it's almost orbs in the sun there. They can see. For a brief second, it does orbit the sun, but then Mars steals it back. Phobos is completely gone. It's been completely destroyed by Mars. Now Mars is bigger in size, but... Yeah, so... 
it can still handle one moon at two mass of Earth. It can, or two mass of moons, sorry. So two masses of moon can actually orbit Mars. So let's try again. This time we'll ramp it up to four masses of moon. Oh my, this is going to be crazy. Okay, so let's head back to Mars. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, so let's slow down. There we go. Let's click there. And then add the moons. There we go. Actions. Okay, there we go. So the moons are back. All right, play. Okay, perfect. All right, this... Uh, surely, it, since, it, since every time we add a moon, it's going to make it bigger. So now we're going four moons. They're going to... They are surely going to collide this time around. It's almost as big as Mars. 3354, and then this is 3390. They are almost the same size. Oh, my. So, there we go. These, we're going to get a collision. Which, If we don't, I will be shocked. I will be shocked if these do not collide. They are too close this time around. Can we even... Where's the... Act? Oh, there we go. So, surface features, and then you. We will do with elevation. Okay. Right. They're going to collide. There's no way. So, play. No way. Is that actually going to get destroyed? Wow, it was so close hitting, but it looks like Mars just shreds it too quickly for it to actually collide. Oh, Deimos is getting closer, though. Oh, dear. Oh, we've had a collision. And there you go. And Deimos actually overpowered Mars. <laughs> this is the new planet, then. Mars actually got destroyed by its own moon. It had less mass. And now it's got 15 masses of moon. I don't know if we had that many moons to begin with. But, yeah, there you go. So, Deimos has destroyed Mars. It's actually destroyed the parent planet. So this is now the new planet. So that's orbs in the sun in Mars' spot. But damn, so four moons is definitely the uh, limit. But we will try three moons to see if it can handle it because it handled it handled two moons. Well, Phobos got completely destroyed, but Deimos was still orbiting Mars at two moons. So we'll try three moons. Can it hold a um, mass of three moons? So it's only a slow down time. There we go. Click play. Okay, perfect. And then moon. And these tests are quite accurate. I know the uh, the moons do start in different positions every time, but it's not really going to make too much of a difference. But I'm willing to bet this isn't going to work. I reckon both moons are going to get destroyed. But yeah, we did see when they were both two masses of moon, it did work. The Deimos was still alive at the end, and so was Mars. But it's just Phobos was destroyed. But it can still Mars can still handle one moon at two masses. But can it handle one moon at three masses of the moon? We'll have to see. So play. Phobos again. Yeah, Phobos actually collided with Mars this time. Okay. And has Deimos just broken away straight away? We'll have to try that again. Yeah, look. It's just broken away. So now this is its own planet. There you go. So that's all in Mars' orbit. Oh, they've completely broken away. Okay, we'll have to try that again. So that's even different results. It may have been an anomaly, though. So we'll have to um, try that again. So there we go. So let's slow down time. Re-add the moons. Okay, there we go. Play. Okay, so they're orbiting. So let's have them on the opposite sides. This is what we've done most of the time. So three moons. So this actually collided with Mars. Very surprising. So there we go. Three and then three. No point respraying the colors of them. But um, yeah, there we go. So we'll slow this down. Play. Okay, so let's watch. So yeah, Phobos. Yeah, see, this time round it got it almost hit Mars, but it was very lucky that time. But last time, obviously, it hit Mars um, completely. So yeah, Phobos is just done. Yeah, see, Phobos is just yeah, it's already losing mass, like 0 0.4 moons. It's it's lost 2.5 moons already. Deimos is just escaping though, is it? Or is it still in orbit? Is it? Oh, it's just yeah, it was trying to do a binary orbit of Mars there, but Deimos is just breaking away now. So, yeah, even at three moons, it's still too unstable to work. So, yeah, I guess the conclusion from this is Mars can support at least one moon that has the mass of two moons. Because, obviously, we saw. We'll try it again, just to make sure the one time we did wasn't an anomaly as well. So, we'll try this a few more times, just to see if we get any mixed results. So, add moons. Slow down the time. Okay, so this time we're going to do two moons again. So, there we go. So moon, we'll go two, voila, and then you as well. Um, moon, here we go. And not radius. We want, we want um, this. So two moons. Okay, right. So now if we slow, yeah, it's time to slow down. Let's slow down a bit more. Play. Okay, so this time round, yeah, Phobos gets completely destroyed, but Deimos is gonna orbit Mars. You see, its orbit is a little crazy, but when Phobos gets smaller and smaller, it will have less effect on Deimos here. 
So when Phobos completely goes, oh, they're in a binary orbit now. Look at that. So Phobos is just getting finished off here. So they've actually created a binary orbit this time. But yeah, so different results every time. But from what I can conclude, it seems to be that Deimos over here, with two masses of moon, it, Mars can still support it at two masses of moon. Obviously, it will cause massive effects on the surface of the planet. Probably, it probably cause a bit of wind on Mars as well. A lot of winds. Obviously, there's no ocean, so there won't be any tidal waves or anything. Um, but yeah, Deimos at two masses of moon, Mars can support it at two moons in mass. So it looks like the maximum amount of moon mass you can have orbit in Mars is two. And obviously, it can only be one moon because obviously, from the video where I gave Mars a custom moon system. We couldn't even have one moon at one massive moon just because all the moons interact with each other. But with one moon only, Mars can support one moon at two masses of the moon. So yeah, there we go. So that is today's what if video, guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below because this was actually just an idea which I thought no one requested this. This is something I came up with. And I thought this would be quite a good idea to make a video on. I know it is quite fun when we test out theories and stuff like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you did hit that like button um, down below. I'll see, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this as well. And obviously if you haven't already subscribe helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers because that'd be absolutely amazing obviously a massive thanks for watching this video as well guys but yeah let me know your thoughts down below what did you think of this have you got different results have you done this test before maybe or maybe um do the test after you watch this video and tell me what results you get in the comments but yeah from my conclusion i reckon two masses of moon is the maximum amount you can have orbiting mars so you see look right now mars is now orbiting the sun again and Deimos is just orbiting Mars. So yeah, two moons of mass can orbit Mars, and Mars can support it. But it did get a little extra mass from the other moon, I might add as well. Look, nine masses. So Mars did get a little extra mass there. But yeah, Mars seems to be able to support it. But maybe, uh, definitely about one, 1 1.5 moons. That will definitely work around Mars. But yeah, there we go. So that's it. I think that's in a binary orbit again. So that's a little um, fishy, that little orbit over there. But yeah, it's still working. No collisions with those two. So... Yeah, there we go. That is everything, guys. So, yeah, like I said, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And, yeah, make sure you're doing my Discord server if you haven't already. And, yeah, that is everything. So, make sure you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.